the crazy Hawaiian. Welcome to Power Slap. Was it everything that you wished, you hoped your first appearance would be? I mean, we always trying to get that knockout in, but um, Micah is, <laughs> I really tried to knock him out. And that guy stood there and did not flinch. Took my, he ate my shit. So big ups to him, but nobody ever done that, at least with me. Ate my shit like that. So he's a, <laughs> he's a big eater. You definitely had a lot of respect for him going into this match. Do you have even more respect for him now? Oh, I, I mean, I still have the same respect that I, I don't think I can respect him anymore. Um, that's my boy. And I, I, again, I try, I really try to knock him out. Koa, you and I talked during Power Slap 1. You were here for Power Slap 2. Being a part of this, how have you seen just in this short time the progression? Because you've been doing this a long time. The production, the crowd, the energy inside this building, the progression overall with your experience. How, how have you seen it sort of just continually progress under Dana's watch? It's scary, really, really. Like, I always dreamt of it, you know? When I first started, somebody once told me that there was no money in it. I can't pay you right now. Um, oh, we proved them, we proved them wrong. So, sorry, I lost my voice. Every time I turn on the crazy Hawaiian, I lose my voice. So, I might have to turn them off right now. But uh, the production is like no other. Um, come on, I look at all you. The first one was just like five people, and now we got a whole bunch. So, um, everything's falling into place. It's God timing. God's timing always. Why did you switch uh, to the left hand in the third round? I really felt like I needed to give him something else, you know. After doing it in my right, le uh, my right twice, I really felt like, man, he's eating my right like nothing, you know. And it's, it was kind of worrying me. And my left, like like my brother, a lot of people don't know he's a right-handed uh, striker, but he uses his left to knock out to knock out slap for cash. And I used, to, I used my left on the last round, hoping to do the same. But uh, it's the first promotion allowing you to do it. So I tried it. I, I saw you look up to him. Were you actually saying, should I do it? Is that what you were asking him? Oh, um, I was actually asking my brother in the crowd, yeah. should I do it? You yeah, know? And he was like, if you want to. So I really wanted to. And uh, he ate that shit. Man, it was unbelievable. Do you feel like uh, you've established a name for yourself now after that fight, like that uh, you're the guy, you know, there was a lot of hype around your debut. Do you feel like you established a name now with that win? I mean, a lot of people have to do their research about me. Um, Michael was probably the toughest opponent I had so far. Um, and uh, I, I just I just feel like this sport's not going to go nowhere. Um, it's just going to keep going up and up. I didn't. The hate for the sport is what's going to drive it to, to be one of the best sports statistically for anybody to get paid. You mentioned that he was your toughest opponent. It, what, did, did being friends with him play into that a little bit, the fact that you guys had a relationship before? Yeah, he called me up this morning. He said, hey, I'm eating loco moco right now. What are you doing? I said, leave me alone, goddammit, for one day so I can hate you. So I can actually put some hate behind my strikes. And he said, okay, bet. I got your max salad, though. And I was like, are you, are you claiming you're going to lose right now? Because I'm going I'm to I'm I'm get that max salad anyway. Um, but, yeah, it's hard to go up against somebody that picks me up from Vegas every time I land. You know, it's really hard. But I really, really, I don't know if you guys noticed it, but I really try to knock his ass out. And he just ate it. Are you guys going to go out and celebrate after this? Absolutely. <laughs> Question over here? Right over here. Hey, how you doing? And congrats on the win, by the way. So, um, obviously, you're fighting one of your friends and one of your uh, combatants. Uh, so, the mental aspect. Obviously, you're in the heaviest weight class. One strike could be game over. I mean, both of you guys generate the most power. Uh, what's the mental aspect to stay in the box, keep your hands uh, behind your back, Stay, do not flinch. Like, what's the mental aspect before he's about to hit that, uh, hit that slap? Don't be a pussy. 
straight the fuck up. Don't be a pussy. If you want to do this sport and you, fi- you think you're going to flinch because, I mean, close your eyes. I don't know. Just take that shit. Eat that shit. If you don't, then uh, you might not be a champion. Or, you know, do some neck workouts or some shit. I don't know. Thank you very much. I mean, Aloha. Um, I know you guys wanted to, you know, put on the show for the fans, but I think they still loved it. Were you good? Did you feel good at the end of your performance that you were able to go these hard rounds? I mean, I, re- I was disappointed initially, you know. Um, we need maybe like two or three more rounds. I think one of us would have let, you know, nine nine sleep. So, um, just wait. Give me some Russians. Give me some South Africans. Give me somebody else, Brazilians, somebody else other than somebody in the U.S. I don't think there's anybody in the U.S. that can be me. So uh, let's 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 branch out. How's that? U.S. or branching out? Where's your ideal location? Uh, taking it back to, you know, one of the islands. Obviously, I would love for this to be an an island thing. Um, because we got some bangers like me. They called me a couple weeks ago, and I came right off the couch, ready to slap whoever any at any time. So, you know, that being said, like, feed me my fucking opponent. Give me somebody that looks badass. Give me somebody that's big and bad. Somebody, anybody. All right, my man. We look forward to it. Mahalo. Appreciate you. With your brother being in the, with your brother being in the same division and – if they bring a title to the super heavyweight division, what's the plan there? Like, are you going to let him go for the title? Are you going to go for the title? Like, what, what's up? I told him he needed to sit back and watch because eventually we might need to go up against each other uh, for the sport. Obviously, that would be really hard, even a lot harder than any fight I've ever done. But it's, just, it's a sport. I I've done this because I knew it was going to turn into a fucking sport. Somebody said, uh, that's not a sport. Yeah, it's not fighting. You can't go out there and slap somebody. They're not going to sit there and let you slap them. But it is a competition, and it is a sport. I mean, cornhole is a sport. Come on now. <laughs> Congratulations. Thank you. If they uh, bring Power Slap to the islands, who would you want to fight? Honestly, I would have to try and see, like, what kind of MMA legend or boxing legend. But I'll take on whoever, anybody. Maybe, I mean, who, who's fat and big in Hawaii? I don't know. That that guy from Lost, you know? <laughs> uh, there's always big island energy in the crowd for these power slap events. Is there anything you want to say to the people watching back home? I'm sorry, they only gave me a few tickets, <laughs> but I was trying to get the Hawaiians to come up in the parking lot and storm this bitch like the Capitol. Thank you. Congrats on your win. Thank you.